Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. All right, I'm Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com. I am here with Francis. He is the wheat breeder for Syngenta in Canada. And we're talking about some of the challenges of developing wheat varieties, uh, not just for Canada, but really anywhere, in that um, maybe you can tell us about how the length of time to bring a wheat variety to market has changed somewhat, but that it's still a lengthy process. Yes, uh, I think I can speak to that. Uh, we have been trying to adopt various uh, techniques in order to reduce the time it takes from crossing to the time the farmer has a new variety. And some of those techniques would include like the doubled haploid technology would include like single seed descent and the use of uh, winter nurseries uh, as, uh, so that we can have more than one season in a year. Now, whenever we set out to make a cross is for a particular purpose, but then again, it takes you uh, so many seasons to get it to market. And the tool that a wheat breeder has is to uh, continue to increase the, the jumperism diversity of the program such that at every one time, even when there are changes, let's say with the registration system, we still have uh, enough diversity within the program to address those needs. Or if there are changes in the pathology systems, let's say like now we have a we have had a breakdown of RR21, which is a resistant gene, gene for refrost. We can still, we still have other genes that are taking care and safeguarding our wheat against that menace. And now we have new races and a new disease, stripe rust coming to Western Canada where it wasn't prever prevalent. But then again, we have enough diversity within the jumpers in pool to be able to address and, uh, and, and, and uh, mitigate that threat from that, such a pathogen. So, so our main uh, uh, defense is using different techniques as well as uh, thinking about our jumpersim and deepening it and bringing all that variation to bear whenever it's needed. Well, and that's one of my questions that, you know, we've, um, we've talked about this before, that if it takes seven or eight years with, with all the tools you have to bring a variety to market, in seven or eight years, a lot can change in consumer demands or in market demands or, as you said, in agronomic demands. So how do you, as a wheat breeder, how do you sort of read the crystal ball and figure out what you need to have 10 years from now? Well, I think... Uh uh, among other people, of course, plant breeders are, have a very difficult challenge in that sense because, of course, they, they have to think about, like I have to think about the jumpers in per se, but also I have to think about the customers. Mm -hmm. So whenever there is change midway, of course, it, it changes the kinds of things and the kinds of selections that I address that I have to, to think about. And in the interim, for example, if something changes within our system, let's say we don't need this quality profile anymore, or we have that new disease, we'll be able to still get farmers an interim variety, or uh, we will also by chance have the necessary genetic material to, to release to farmers. But at every one time, we are always redesigning and going back to the drawing board and making new crosses and making sure at every one time our pipeline is full of genetic material that can be called upon to address those specific uh, uh, demands on the breeding program. We've also talked about hybrid wheat and how you know hybridization of wheat is, is certainly being looked at, is moving forward. And But you mentioned that, that really hybridity adds um, more stability of a variety in many different situations. Yes, a yield bump, but also add some consistency. So it's maybe not necessarily um, what everyone expects, right? Because I think as farmers, we sort of think hybrid equals a big bump in yield, but it's, it's that plus, right? It's that plus, yes. It's, it's that extra, you know, uh, 12, 15% yield bump, but at the same time, it brings in the element of assurance. Yield stability is a, is a, is, is a very important key because a, as you can see from season to season, we keep having changes within our, uh, our weather patterns. And, and, 
and the most important thing is to have varieties that can continually give you that assurance that at every season you are going to have that better performance therefore that stability is assured but also if you look up across our vast geography we, we, we are dealing with a lot with a vast genetic by environment interaction different soils uh, uh, different occurrences of, of rainfall and, and heat and cold and all that a hybrid will give you a better performance at at all levels across such an environment. Okay, thank you so much, Francis. You're welcome.